Hello friends, good evening. Today I am going to discuss about some of the useful modules produced or developed by uh, developers group under the OCA branch. That is Odoo Community Association and the agenda is about purchase management. So I am utilizing the branch of OCA purchase workflow today where we will be going to discuss some of the modules which are very useful, which are not part of Odoo Enterprise or Odoo Community but can be useful to organization on day-to-day -day life like delivery split advanced payment default terms condition purchase signature like you know customer signature and approval then purchase invoice method and purchase deposit type of modules these are modules we are going to discuss so let's start one by one from delivery split so on purchase order when you create any purchase order and you are adding some of the items where you are marking the delivery date you know which are different to one another okay so what it will do is it will group the similar date and create a separate delivery or receipt for us so purchase receipt over here so 386 is one and first august there are two items as soon as i confirm the order it will generate two receipt order for us one is today which is 38th and second one is you know future date like first august which combine two items so whenever your vendor are confirmed, you know, uh, you want to, you know, receive few items uh, in certain days and few items after few days, you can set expected arrival. So based on that, your inventory operations guide will come to know which items are going to come, you know, today in future. See, so that's how it will be useful. The second module is purchase advance payment. Now, let's say you have a condition with vendor. So whenever you install this module, you will find this step payment advance and you will find pay purchase advance. So this PO has been made and I haven't received any product yet. You can see it is in addition, but you have to release some advance payment. So you will write uh, and it will create an advance payment directly from this window. Total amount due is 32,000, but you are paying 10,000 rupees in an advance and you will create by which method you are going to pay to your vendor so it will register an entry over here and then you will see the residual amount like 10,000 has been paid and on RFQ also uh, when you see vendor reference and residual amount advanced payment billing status everything will be visible you see 32,000 was the amount and 20,000 is residual amount it has done nothing but you know uh, created vendor you know payments over here see. 10,000 rupees of payment over here, which has been made with narration PO16, which we have marked. Now, uh, the question comes when you create, uh, you know, uh, the vendor bill, then definitely over here, when you receive some items, you will be able to create a vendor bill for those items, right? So, you have received one item, let us see. So, one item is easy, let me receive this large cabinet also large cabinet i am receiving one very date and create back order so now what i have done i have received two items based on that i can create a bill so whenever i am creating the bill on a regular basis it will allow me to see outstanding debits which was the advance payment i have made and i can add that payment over here so it's how this works the third module is default terms and condition. So in Odoo uh, sales order, we always find default terms and condition. So in purchase also, after installing that module, I can find default terms and condition. This is my default terms and condition on every PO. Now on vendor also, we can define a separate, you know, terms and condition. So it is a company. So here, if I define specific terms and condition for this vendor ready-made. So whenever I am creating RFQ, Azure Interior will have these terms. Deco Edict will have default terms. And then ready-made will have its own terms, which I have defined. So that's how it will work on PO uh, whenever you are uh, using this module to define default terms and condition. Now a beautiful module is purchase sign. So whenever you want your vendor to sign, you just enable it. 
and you know you send this via email and it will trigger the signature uh, online uh, for the vendor the same way we ask for customer to sign the quotation now the another one is purchase invoice method how it works so what happens is on order we have always defined a bill control or invoicing policy is received quantity now during quotation preparation on other information we can change that you know some orders can be on ordered quantities no not received so that's how we can control invoicing method using this module and the last one is purchase deposit it's uh, uh, not similar to advanced payment but yeah uh, sales deposit or sales you know advanced payment we have the same way we have purchase advanced payment so a deposit can be registered over here now whenever i register deposit it will create a registered deposit invoice the same way like customer advanced payment invoice so this is my regular bill but now if i say register deposit with a amount like thousand it will create a vendor bill with a product that is vendor advance and that vendor advance will go to deposit account that is a type of current asset account like for customer current liability so this way you can create a vendor bill a draft bill with an advance so this will go to your advance payment now as soon as you uh, finish your you know receipt and everything and you will create your regular vendor bill so what i'll then i am receiving everything and now if i create a regular vendor bill that's how vendor advance payment will be deducted from here and i have to uh, you know create the regular invoice so that's how you can see vendor advance will be coming here on regular basis so this is nothing but you know uh, a good module just like uh, customer advance payment like we see in our sales module so hope uh, this modules will help you know organization to uh, you know utilize some of the good features uh, which are not available in part of odoo but as an oca library i will send this link in my youtube video uh, description so you can download as well as i will send all this link alongside my video hope this will help many organization many consultant to configure these modules and uh, uh, utilize this because it's uh, it's free and it's up to version 16 only thank you